Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void! And a very special game between Showtime and Special here on Acid Plant, the latter edition. This is from WCS Montreal, which wrapped up just recently. These players are currently number two and number three on the WCS circuit standings, separated by 120 points. Serral is uh, number one by, uh, by a lot. Just go ahead and search WC has a standings for StarCraft 2, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Top left-hand corner, we have the Red Terran player, Special. And in the bottom right-hand corner, it's going to be the blue Protoss player, Showtime, from Germany. So Germany versus Mexico here. They almost kind of uh, allied with each other during World War II. There's an interesting history between those two countries, and uh, there's the Zimmerman Telegram, I believe what it was called, basically intercepted by the U.S., where Germany was like, hey, Mexico, help us with this war thing and we'll help you out. And uh, that is actually one of the reasons that the U.S. got into the war at all. Oh, it might have been World War One, actually. Might have been a World War One thing. I'm getting my history messed up, but I'm sure somebody in the comments can correct me with that because you all have access to Google, as it turns out. So, yeah, the second and third best foreigners in the world going at it today here on the channel for your Thursday. Very excited about this. Very happy about it for sure. You are sharing your Thursday cast with a Brood War game. Have started doing a third Brood War cast every week on Thursday, along with the StarCraft 2 cast. You don't have to miss anything, guys. I'm not cutting StarCraft to make room for Brood War, although the Brood War is doing a lot better than the StarCraft 2 is. I just, what it seems like is there's a lot more content out there for StarCraft 2 fans. You got Loco, you got Winter, you got Crank doing stuff, you got all sorts of things. Whereas StarCraft 1, the Brood War, the remastered, just doesn't have a lot of representation for English-speaking fans. And that's kind of the niche that I've filled. So I'm trying to fill it for those people while still being here for y'all that love the StarCraft 2 as well. I'm not going to pull a husky, alright? I promise. I'm not going to leave you guys in the lurch. Stop casting StarCraft 2 entirely without explaining or even doing that at all. I'm going to keep doing StarCraft 2 as long as I possibly can. You know, assuming I don't end up in a coma or in the hospital for some other reason. But anyway, that, the odds of that happening are very, very low. Anyway, no Reaper here from Special. No big surprise about that either. Let's switch them up here so that red's on top. Bit easier for me to read and maybe for you guys as well. Also, quick question. Do you prefer my layout or the WCS format for replay interfaces? Because I understand... I had this thought the other day. A lot of people are, are used to watching the WCS interface on replays and live stuff and... It's not what you get here. Is it a good different or is it a bad different? Are you finding yourself, you wish there were things there that the, or wish there were things here, right, that I don't have that the WCS interface does? Uh, let me know, because you know what? I could switch over. I could switch over to using the standard thing. It wouldn't be a big deal. Double Cyclone here from Special, pushing out on across the map. We got a Depths here, a Robotics Facility, just now warping in for Showtime. That's got to be an Immortal. Make it an Immortal. You gotta do the Immortal. Did you? Oh, the Adept shaded in and saw the factory with the reactor on it. And that's not gonna be Hellions. That's not gonna be Hellions. That has gotta be Cyclones. You gotta prepare for it. There's the Immortal production beginning now. And a Proxy Starport from Special 2. Adept sees the Cyclones. Now we are absolutely ready to go. We are ready and convinced that there are Cyclones on the way with an SCV there to repair as well. So a couple Adepts at the front. Immortal's gonna pop out in time. To handle this getting chrono boost just in case and an observer coming in here too. shield battery coming up might be a little bit late i think i would have liked to see that start a couple seconds ago and at this level of starcraft when these players are this close in ability and results seconds can matter yeah the shield battery is not done but three adepts not taking taking bonus damage from the cyclone attack and an immortal back there crushing it too special is right to be wary here and that wariness is giving time for the shield battery to finish so good job by Showtime. He knew what he was doing. He knew he could push this back just by showing what he had and giving time for the shield battery to show up. That's no big deal. But they talked about they talked about changing the shield battery to where maybe it doesn't start with full energy. A couple other things as well. But they're not going to change anything until after BlizzCon, which is coming soon, you guys. BlizzCon is not far away. I am so stoked. So stoked. Serral and Maru have got to play against each other in BlizzCon. If they don't, it will be a failure of a tournament. I don't think I'm alone in believing that. Anyway, this is a Liberator pushing out Proxy Lib. There's an Observer ready to see this coming in, and Stalker's ready for it, too. So the reaction time here for Showtime is amazing. Hellions going for the run by, getting into this mineral line. Oh, no. The Hellions diving on in. They know they're not getting out, but they just took nine probes with them. 
Nine of them. Ooh, and the Liberator shows up when the Stalkers were away. Oh, the Stalkers were so ready for this. And then suddenly the Hellions distracted them. Special is playing this so well. 12 probe kills by him in the last couple of minutes. 39 to 35 Harvesters. Special is up. The Cyclones go home. The Liberator goes home. Decides that is a job well done. There is no use losing the Liberator. No use losing the Cyclones. I'm fine where I am. I'm up. Workers on Showtime, even with the Chrono Boost. And, ooh, Colossus into play here right now from Showtime. Interestingly enough, Colossus against Mech? Well, is it Mech, actually, is the question. Barracks, Barracks, Barracks. Nah, it's going to be Bio. It's going to be Bio. A couple additional Barracks in production here for Special. So, yeah, I think Colossus will be just fine. Third Nexus warping in here for Showtime. Did I mention that Showtime is number two in the standings and Special is number three? I'm not sure if that was clear enough, but yeah, that is definitely the case. All right, coming back in again. Where were these Stalkers? Okay, they're coming in. They're close enough to wander and waltz on in when necessary. We're just leaving this tech lab over here. The Starport decides to head on back home to start making things like medevacs for this bio play. And the third command center is finished. Just kidding. It's almost finished, and it's going to go ahead and land up here for the third base. But third base is warping in here. Third base timings should be fairly similar between these two players. Yeah, Stim, plus one, plus one for the infantry. Raven-Cyclone combo gets rid of the Observer. That got some good intel. Got some real good intel there for Showtime, and he saw the barracks. He saw the barracks go down and knows it's going to be Bio, so continues to make Colossus getting extended to Thermal Lance, which really, you need extended Thermal Lance if you have any number of Colossus at all. Even if you just make one, honestly, get extended Thermal Lance. Range is good. Range in any situation in StarCraft 2 is good. Just get it. All right, good. I'm glad we're agreed on that one. Liberator coming in. Is there a third base I can lock down? There is. But there's only one probe here, and he's out of danger. The reaction time from Showtime is just sick right now. Yeah, and I mean, there might be some mining going on. Where's the anti-air, though? The Stalkers are trying to get over here. The Liberator is long gone by the time that happens. Special is landing his third base. Yeah, it's just going to be Bio. It's going to be Marines. It's going to be Marauders. Uh, maybe some Vikings once he recognizes that there are, yeah, two Colossus here. The Liberator does get picked off. Any more probes die? Maybe one got killed in the carnage there. No big deal. And yeah, at this point, we really need to start seeing Vikings. Where'd that starport go? Here it is. It's reactored and everything. And Viking production would be good. Don't overmake the Vikings, right? You don't want to go mass Viking because then your army sucks against the ground stuff and needs to clean up later. But if you make a couple at this point, maybe two or three Vikings per Colossus, not going nuts with it. You'll be fine. But I guess he's not doing that at all. It's medevac production from Special. Who needs Vikings, he says. I certainly don't. I have a lot of Marauders, seven of them, to be exact. He's working on a fusion core here, too, which if there are battle cruisers in this game, I will be pleased as punch. Pleased as punch, but it's probably just for advanced ballistics. Just range on the Liberators. Although, are there any Liberators? Hey, fusion core, tell me your secrets. Where are you? Here you are. Uh, there's no Liberators on the map, because the one that was there is dead. Okay. All right, man. That's another Starport. And there's a Tech Lab waiting. <gasps> okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. I feel like the Emperor here. Do it. Do it. Fusion Core done. And it's a... Ah, it's Advanced Ballistics. Boo. Boo, special, getting advanced ballistics, getting my hopes up like that. You don't even have any liberators at all. Why are you getting advanced ballistics? Fine, fine, I understand. Battle cruisers are bad. Hopefully, post patch battle cruisers will be great. They'll be able to shoot and move at the same time. How revolutionary is that? Look how long it takes two cyclones to kill an adept. That's incredible. No wonder they were worried about that adept immortal compo uh, composition in the early stages of the game. Charge on the way from Showtime, working on Ground Armor Level 2. Ground Weapons Level 2 is our Protoss player. Take a look at his SimCity real fast. It's nice. Little clump of warp gates over here. Tech structures on the left side. And there's a Twilight Council in the natural for some reason. Not sure why it lives there, but whatever at this stage of the game. Big old bio group here versus the Stalkers. Get out. There's the blink. Yep, they got to go. They got to go. Fourth base under construction here by Special on location and warping in. A fourth base is Showtime at literally the same time. These guys are, they're synchronized, man. 3.28 APM for Showtime on this game, 3.17 thus far. From the Mexican Terran player, working on plus two, plus two for his Marines and Marauders and stuff, and Advanced Ballistics. Almost done. He has three Liberators now, so fine. Fine, dude. You do what you're going to do with the Liberators. Make it happen. I, I fully, fully accept it. This has been a pretty 
bloodless, well not bloodless, but almost bloodless game. Five Marines have died, a Liberator, a couple Cyclones. Four Hellions here, Showtime's lost, I don't know, a couple of Depths and 14 Probes, but he's okay. It's 66 to 73 Harvesters, he's down a little bit, but not that much. Disruptor's in production here too, so he's going for the splash that is the Colossus Disruptor style and not Storm. Which, honestly, I think Storm is better against this, but... Could be wrong. Could be wrong. We'll see if it works out for Showtime, regardless here. So pushing out, Adept is there to make sure that we know when the Terran army is coming. The scan sees what we're dealing with. Hallucinated Phoenix moves out immediately to try to see where they're setting up. Setting up Liberators in this little area, this little ground area here. It's a bit of a valley, is what I would call it. Engagement over this way with the Marines and Marauders trying to get in, but Charge Lots, man! Charge lots are mean. Are they gonna get in and no, there's cannons. There's cannons. Liberators setting up their advanced ballistics defender mode circles. They're so far away. Look how far away they are from the Liberators. Pushing in here, sieging in on here. Marines Marauders gonna try to threaten this fourth base. Oh, the forward sieging. It's only a couple tanks. It's not even all that much here, but the tanks are helping a lot here too. Cannon one down. Cannon two down. Zealots charging up that left side, trying to make something happen. And going for it here is Showtime a little bit. Guardian Shield is up. Nice purification, Nova. Mm, can't lose this fourth. Can't lose the fourth. Zealots are in here in the oh, third base of Special Reckon It. A lot of stuff dying. Ah, oh, the Nexus goes down, though. Showtime, you lost that base. At the same time, 11 SCVs went down, and the third base is a mining ghost town. Coming back on in here again is Special Liberators getting shots off on everything that wanders into their circle of influence. Purification Nova dodged quite nicely there. And at this point, I gotta say, Special's up. He kept his third. He lost some SEVs, but he's still up 71 to 67. That income tab is definitely gonna show the difference. Actually, a little bit more income from Showtime here 2,000 to 1,400 per minute. But I assume as soon as some mules get called down here at the third, that's gonna change. Purification Nova whiffs there again. Fourth base kind of warping in here from Showtime, but Liberators accidentally scout it while they're on their way to somewhere else. Which has really got to hurt right now. Tempest in production, hopefully to be used against the Liberators, which are really causing Showtime some problems. At this stage, Liberator going to set up, dodging the cannons very nicely. Some players will just send their Liberators in, fire and forget, and not really pay attention to things like static defense. Okay, well, that Liberator dead. This Liberator, several shots to die here. Coming on in, the Blink Stalkers in the main base as Special gets the drop on in here. Blink Stalkers trying to get healed up by purification or by the shield battery. Nova's getting some decent hits off though. Another Nova, nice split. Marauders happening. Fourth base canceled by Marines and Marauders down on that left side as well. And the Liberators are all going to die thanks to these Stalkers with their plus two attack. But six probes are down. Continuing to push in here is special. Stalkers trying to make something happen with the help of their friendly photon cannon. It's going to be enough because these units are overstimmed. It just takes a couple shots for them to actually go down, so... Alright, 168 to 150 supply. Special is up. Still unable to get a fourth base here at Showtime. I think he needs to push and do something right now, or he's in trouble. He is warping in a fourth base, and he's pushing at the same time. He's been a little bit too passive in this game, I think. 13 minutes without any kind of a real solid attack against Special's army, other than the Zealot run by here at the third base. Free tank, though. That's nice. We will accept a free tank on behalf of Showtime. Resources lost 10,000 for special, 8,000 for showtime, which is actually more impressive than I thought. Ah, Marina Marauder Group, fourth base dead again. Are you kidding right now? Some stalkers here to defend, I guess, but look at the DPS output by these guys. Nope. Fourth base, no. Just a small little Marine Marauder Group. It's like sending Link counterattacks. Like a Link can force a cancel there. So can Marines and Marauders. They actually have a lot of DPS. Tons of DPS. You don't have to bring medivacs with them at all. They'll die, but so what? It's totally worth it. Another Liberator setting up here at the third base of Showtime. Going to start picking off these probes. One, two, we'll keep a count on that. Thanks to the WCS Game Heart interface. The Tempest need the target fire down. The Liberators, if they can. Is this Liberator still doing stuff? Yeah, but the probes got pulled, I guess. Probes got pulled. I don't know that Showtime can handle this. Plus three, plus three on the way for the buyer for special. Plus three attack on the way here from Showtime, too. Special's fourth base is under assault here. Purification Nova is going to get in that mineral line and only kill two SCVs, wounding a few others though. Liberator finally gets taken out after getting eight kills though. Jeez, effective Liberator. 
if nothing else. 199 to 181 supply. Special's maxed out. Showtime is not. He really needed to get rid of one of these bases. Fourth base coming in again for Showtime. Another engagement here. Anti-armor missile on everything that is Showtime. Oh, the circles. So many circles. The Tempests are getting picked off by the Vikings. Ugh, Revelation, not as good as anti-armor missile as it turns out. I think all the Colossus are going to die. Some Archons show up to try to deal with this. But yeah, that Viking flock is amazing. Remember what I said about landing the Vikings? Yeah, not going to go well for those Vikings. They die almost immediately there. The Archons going to town on those guys quite well. One Archon dies to the Marauders and the Marines. Another Nova sends them back. All the Vikings are dead except for two that didn't actually land there. And that's kind of the deal. If you land those Vikings, they are in a lot of trouble. So all the Colossus are dead. That's the thing. That's how easy it is for Terran to deal with Colossus right now in the current stage of TVP. So now just working on Tempest, I guess. Uh, plus three attack is completed for Showtime, which is nice. But I think Special has this thing. I really don't see Showtime ending up with this thing in the bag. But uh, anything crazy things can happen here. Ghost Academy at the front here for Special for some weird reason. Stalkers picking off Liberators from distance. Refinery going to go down here as well. Going to lose another Liberator that shows up. Bad Rally, actually. Man, dropping all over the third base is special. Another attempted a Liberator here at Showtime's fourth base. We are all over the place right now, ladies and gentlemen. APM Tech, 397, 337. Showtime has the lead there, but just barely. Third base and a lot of trouble. The recall. The recall actually gets out of there to the third base. The army that was causing trouble is already gone, so they can't even be killed. And Special manages to save every one of his bases while putting some good pressure up on Showtime's third. 58 to 58 Harvesters, though. That was a lot of dead SCVs, and now it's 29 to 26 loss. Where Showtime has lost a little bit more, but not a whole ton. Bit of a Stalker Zealot Tempest army here with the Marcons mixed in. Doing that 47 damage splash versus Biological. Another drop at the third base of Showtime. Special has been incessant with this. He refuses to stop the drops. And I guess until... Ooh, almost a friendly Nova there. That was very, very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. You guys are still around, man. This drop is still doing stuff. It's going to boost out with one medevac full of stuff. And everybody is completely... Or the other one is entirely empty on medevac number two. Woo! All right, Showtime. You're down about 10, 15 supply right now, which is not a huge deal for Protoss. Not in this stage of the game. Going to set up on this high ground and try to harass some of the SCVs mining from this 5th base of special. Maybe with Tempest, I guess. 5th base coming on here from Showtime 2. So he is not above expanding a little bit. Tempest just getting random shots off on stuff. They could probably kill that medevac if they target fired it. If they wanted to. Additional the Disruptor coming in as well. Got some Zealots with plus 3 armor for the ground right now. Zealots on top of this army would be pretty good. Honestly, Tempests are not affected. Oh, they're trying to bait them on in there. Trying to bait the bio in to get these Tempests. And then the Purification Novas show up. Oh, oh, the Novas are on cooldown. Oh, that one fired a little bit prematurely. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. is If you send a couple Novas in, you know you're not going to see any more for a while. The fifth base of Showtime gets killed by Special. He's just been everywhere, man. Another Liberator attack. At the fourth base, too. Special's multitasking is absolutely godlike. Absolutely godlike lately. He has just been killing it with that. You're going to get somebody as good as Rainer. He's just been getting amazing multi prong drops off, doing tons of damage against the young Zerg player. And it's no different versus Showtime. So, all right, third base of special under attack. Your army a little bit out of position, trying to come on in and do something about it. The sensor tower almost dies. It's actively burning down. Nice Nova catches a good clump of bile there. Another good Nova. Vikings chasing these Tempest away. Decent hit, but not amazing hit. Disruptor's getting picked off because they're at the front lines right now, which is not good at all. Archons in the front here absorbing a ton of damage from these Marauders, not taking any damage, nor any bonus damage from them at all. The third base of special has been lifted. But it's almost mined out and actually might indeed die thanks to these Stalkers. Oh, 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 he target fires it down. He gets the third base. The Orbital Command is gone right now. Suddenly, it's 126 to 106 total supply. Showtime has a lead. He's equal on base count right now, and that's a good game. Are you kidding me? Special GG's out. And Showtime is your winner in 19 minutes and 13 seconds. What? Units tab check. Quick time for a units tab check. Look at this. It's 116 to 102 supply. Even worker count. Special, what are you doing? Special had, okay, four medevacs, nine marauders, seven marines. 
and three Liberators against, again, a, a decent army of Showtime here, I guess. Five Zealots and Archon, 13 Stalkers, a Disruptor, and three Tempest. No way, Special. There's no way you were out of this game. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Did he know there were Zealots coming in here? I mean, losing that Orbital Command was a big deal, but not the biggest deal in the world, right? I don't know if he knew there were Zealots wandering into his fifth base. That was a problem. That was going to be a big problem for him. And I don't think he could really defend... Well, it's a Planetary Fortress. Yeah, I'm back and forth on this. I mean, Showtime definitely had the upper hand. I'll give him that, but I don't... Jeez, it's just like Special lost a single base and tapped out. You don't get to be the third best player in WCS standings if you tap out at that. But, I don't know, educate me in the comments. Explain why Special tapped out that early to me. It felt very, very, very early from my non-WCS ranked standings uh, perspective. Because I, I'm, I'm not that great at StarCraft. Especially not compared to these fellows. Hmm. I mean, lost a lot of resources for sure. 31,000 lost for special compared to 25 for Showtime. Pretty darn efficient there. Only one Disruptor died? No, hold on. This is what we want. Eight Disruptors died. <laughs> 20 Vikings, all three Colossus. That might have been an overmake on Vikings. Although there were some Tempest out too that he really did have a good time picking off from distance. Yeah, very strange indeed. Strange game, but very fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a PBT fan and if you're not and you clicked on this anyway because maybe you're a Showtime or a special fan, well, hope you enjoyed it too. Because that is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. Haul it slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.